So let me tell you what lesson 25 is. We are going to divide fractions. How do you divide fractions? <laughs> That's a good answer, actually. So how do you divide fractions? You don't, OK? What do you do? Yeah, you copy that flap or you flip and multiply. Jeez. You have to, you have to flip, flip, because if you flip, you land on That's the right. exact same Don't side copy that flip, because if you flip correctly, then you will land on your feet. We want the fraction to land on his face, okay? That's sad. But that's how you, that's how you divide fractions, right? So. <laughs> Okay, let's do division the pizza method. All right, so how many quarter slices are in a full pizza? Four. four. Right, there's four, right? One, two, three, four. Okay, well, how did we get a bigger number? We just divided. Don't we usually get a smaller number when we divide? No, when you divide fractions, you can fit more inside of a number if it's, if it's just a fraction, right? So, but how do we do this to copy that flop? Well, we're going to copy the one. Well, we're, you can only divide or you can only multiply fractions with fractions. So how do we make a fraction out of one? Put a one under it. Yep. You can make a fraction out of anything. Put a one under it. You can make yourself a fraction. Okay. How do you make yourself a fraction? You stand on top of a one, right? That's right. You can have a fraction sandwich. Just make a sandwich and, I don't know, put it over one. Okay. And then dot. What's dot mean in math? Multiply. And we're going to flop this one fourth. All right. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Okay. Eat that. All right. And then you know how to multiply. How do you multiply fractions? Straight across. Straight across. One times four is four. One times one is one. So you could say four over one or just four, right? So far, so good? Yeah. All right, let's try this one. Ready? 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 Maybe. Uh, you can do this the pizza method, or you can do this happy dot plot method. Happy dot plot. All right, happy dot plot that. Flop. Flop and fraction. What'd you get, Hunter? 12. 12, okay. So copy, three over one, dot, dot, flop. Uh, 12 over one, or just 12. Or you could think about it. How many quarter slices are in three whole pizzas? Well, well, there's four in each pizza, so four times three is 12, right? Or how many quarters are in $3? 12. Right, there's four in each dollar and there's three of them, so three times four is 12. You can think about it that way. All right, so I don't like those kind of division problems. I like the ones that are actually dealing with fractions. So let's do this. Let's go three fourths divided by two fifths. Ready, go. See if you can do that one. Grace has got an answer. What'd you get? One fourth or five twentieths. One fourth or five twentieths. Anyone get anything Wait. different? <laughs> Any other answers? Kiara? Uh, three fifths. Three fifths? Okay. Any other answers? Yeah. Fifteen eighths. That's the right answer. Let's do this. Three fourths. Dot. Flop. Okay, did any of you check to see if you could reduce? No. Yeah, well, you didn't have to because you can't. Three doesn't reduce with two, five doesn't reduce with four, so just multiply across. 15 eighths, that's an acceptable answer. What else could have you have said, Hunter? 
one or one, or one and seven eight. Or one and seven eight, okay? Both answers are correct. If I say write your answer as a mixed number, then you should write it one and seven eighths. If I say write your answer as an improper fraction, 15 eighths, okay? If I don't say anything, you can answer it however you want, just make sure it's reduced. Does everyone understand that this is still reduced? This is not more reduced than this, okay? Reducing doesn't mean changing to a mixed number. Reducing may, means taking out common factors, okay? Yes? You only flop the second, the second set of numbers, Correct, right? okay. correct. Yeah, don't flop the first one. Uh, we're just flopping the second one. Okay, so far so good? All right, let's do uh, one more example and then we'll move on to the next lesson. Ready? So everyone try this on your paper and then see if you get the same as someone next to you. So you can compare your answer with someone next to you, but don't get all social distancy too close, okay? So say it out loud. What, if you get an answer, share it with someone next to you. Say it out loud. But don't like, don't like cuddle or anything weird like that. This one right here, three-fourths divided by nine-tenths. Okay, we got hands up. We're going to wait a couple more seconds, like 15-ish. Can't see? No, thank you. That is a dad thing to do. It's our job as dads to annoy our kids. My mom got you to do that. Yeah. Like, what is she thinking? She's so selfish. <laughs> All right, we got hands up. We got hands up everywhere. Dylan, what'd you get? 40, um, 27. Okay, do you see what Dylan did? He no. flipped them both. He flipped them both. So uh -huh. he he flopped dot flopped. He didn't copy dot flop, he flopped dot flop. Okay, that's a double flop. We don't want to do a double flop. All right, Marin, what'd you get? Five, six. Five, six, okay. Did anyone get anything different than five, six? Kiara? 30, 36. 30, 36. Okay, so guess what? You're both right. What's the difference? Yes, Marin reduced. Okay, so copy dot flop. Right, Dylan? Does that make sense? You see what you did? You see what you did? Now, you can either just multiply over and you get 30, 36, but then you have to reduce, correct? So when you see 30 over 36, there should be a little alarm going off in your head. It's saying, reduce, reduce. Reduce. It doesn't really do this. It doesn't really itch your head for you. That's something you have to do manually. <laughs> okay? But the alarm should be saying you should feel uncomfortable with that 30 over 36. You should feel uncomfortable You would, to where you wouldn't be able to sleep well that night. Okay? <laughs> or you can reduce beforehand. Look at this. Look at this. Ready? Three and nine can reduce to what? One. One. One and three, and look at four and ten. What goes into both four and ten? Two and four. So if I take a two out of both, I get two and five, and then I get five, six. So either way, you should end up with five, six. If you say 30, 36, I'm going to give you half credit because you got it right, but you're not done. What makes you done? Reducing. Reducing. Okay. All right. Questions? Comments? Yes, Kiara? It's like... It's like when you have like an improper fraction, it like feels like 
when you ask someone like what's the time they say like 14:36. Yeah, when they it just don't feels use so like, wrong. Like, it's like what is it's that? Like annoying. It's like just tell me the time please. Like military time. It's also it's also annoying when my nana goes Yeah, it's like it's a quarter after 10. It's like Tell me the time. Say, it's 10.15, you weirdo. It's 30, 30 <laughs> oh, don't watch this, Nana. Sorry, I didn't call you a weirdo. Yes, Hunter. Good job. Good job cross-canceling that. Okay, um, any questions on 25? You guys good? So how do you divide fractions? Copy dot flop. Copy dot flop. Okay, or you could, you're, uh, you know, whatever. Flip and multiply. That's the Napoleon Dynamite method. How do you divide fractions? You flip and multiply. Gosh. Okay, that's what you do. But don't flip them both. Don't pull a Dylan. You're not going to do a double flop. Just flop the second fraction. Don't flop them both. Classic Dylan. Am I right? Am I right? Okay. So let's do the next lesson. I'm going to erase. Black Mouth! Give me some right. Am I right? Okay. Right? Am I right? Okay. Right? Am I right? Okay. Right? Am I right? Don't okay. Do it,